Okay, welcome to part six of our Space War game. Let's take a look and see what we have so far. Okay, so we've got a player. I can move the player faster. I can slow down the player. You make it go in reverse. And I can turn, and I have created a missile that I can fire. And when it hits the enemy, the enemy kind of jumps to a random spot. So it's, that's about that. So what I want to do is in this game, the idea is I want to have other characters, and I'm going to call them allies, uh, that are kind of on my team. And basically, the idea is going to be that I want to shoot the enemy, which is the red circle, but I'm going to create allies that are blue squares, and I don't want to shoot them. If I shoot them, I lose points, for example. Okay, so again, all of the objects in our game are children of the sprite class, which is itself is a child of the turtle class from the turtle module. And so, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the enemy class because they're kind of very, they're kind of similar. And I'm going to call this ally. And I'm going to make my allies a little bit faster. And the same thing, I want them to move at a random heading. So that's how simple it is to create a new class now because we've defined our sprite class. So our sprite class has all the setup stuff. It has the basic movement, has boundary detection for us, it has collision detection, and now we can override those and make our own custom ones, which we might do a little bit later. But this is kind of what we want to do. We want our ally sprites to do kind of the same thing as the enemy sprites, and but we're going to change and have them be a different uh, color. So, so I've created the class, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ally. The ally class and it's going to be a square and make it blue and we'll have it start zero comma zero. Actually, it doesn't matter because as soon as we create it, um, we have it go to a random heading. Well, that's okay. So it goes, yeah, okay, so it's going to start. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, very exciting. Okay, so we created it, but it's not moving. All right, so we forgot to do something there. So if we go down to our main game loop, this is where we need to do it. So ally dot move. Okay, so you can see how the ally is moving. It's doing the same thing as the player. Okay. And we don't have any collision section for this. Let's see if I shoot it, see what happens. Oops. Nothing. Okay. So we need to add collision detection, which should be pretty simple now. So check for a collision between the missile and the enemy. Let's just copy that. Well, actually, maybe it's copy this one. It's a little bit simpler. So I don't have all the bullet state stuff or missile state stuff. So, again, the order of these doesn't really matter. Uh, for collision with the. Actually, no, we, we do want to check with the missile, sorry. Okay, so if check for a collision with the ally. The missile and the ally. Okay, so missile is collision ally. Ally is going to jump, and the missile is going to be ready. So we're basically copying this code, and instead of doing it with the enemy, we're going to do this with the ally. So if I shoot my ally, you can see now the code is working. Now if you notice, what's interesting is these, both of these objects have the same code. Um, they hit the wall, they turn right. So you know, basically what I want to do is I want to give my allies a bit of a different code to do that. So I'm going to override the move method. Okay. So here's the move method from our sprite class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go down to my ally class and paste it. Okay. 
So now when I call ally move, it's going to go to this move, not the one the, the basic sprite class. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep this real simple. Instead of turning right 60 degrees, I want it to turn left 60 degrees. That's it. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so it should go left. Okay, so you see how now they are kind of turning away from each other. So the red enemy is rotating to the right, and the blue ally is rotating to the left. So once we get a lot of objects, once we get more allies and more enemies on the screen, it'll look much more visually appealing instead of them kind of just following each other. Okay, so let's close that. Okay. Now one more thing, I, well, we'll save that one for later. Um, that, that's, that'll be a, a bonus later in the day. Um, so I think for now that's pretty much what we wanted to do with our allies and with our enemies. Um, so you can see we could add you know, multiple objects to the screen and, and all that sort of thing. And I think that's it for part six.